So here's the plan. I will be making Malika's armor set. But why not Radan? He looks way cooler. I hear you ask, well, yeah, kind of. But have you seen the details? That looks so hard to make. No, I just like the transformation and Malika's character way better. So I need a helmet, chest armor, a cape, chain mail, greaves, shoes and gauntlets. And now we get to work. Okay, chill, okay. First I needed a helmet shape. Putting on primer and my black paint and on top of that I glued some random shapes for the hair. And then I had a great idea. Let's just cut out a strand and hot glue it on. That seemed very bad, so I watched a wig tutorial and they told me that I can just cut them out like this. Yes, I am an idiot. Then I made this piece which will be glued on to the helmet. And I put on some foam clay for more detail. After the same layers of paint I marked where the golden highlights are. And then I made another intelligent decision without informing myself beforehand. I spent around two and a half hours to paint two layers of gold and then cleaned it up with another layer of black paint. Then I was done with the parts and I could glue them all together. And the helmet is done. I also put on fasteners, but I forgot to make them sturdy. Well, that's a problem for future me. The helmet is done, but I'm not done with the game. Actually, I'm really bad at these types of games. In fact, it was my first Souls-like game ever. And I only played it because it had open world. Just to give you a picture of how bad I really am, I grinded these giants for 5 hours because I got mad after failing 5 times attempting to kill Margot with the NPC. And after that I was so over leveled that I bonked him in 4-5 to five hits I think. But to protect myself against even stronger bosses I will need a chest armor. So I began with a shape that I can easily pull over my head and ended up with this one. The actual chest piece is made out of scales, so I cut out a lot of them and bent them into the right shape. After gluing them together all 38 pieces looked like this. Here is the part that wraps around my waist and I still wasted so much time with painting on the gold. But I finally found a gold pen in an art shop and that saved me so much time. So it was time to put it together. The main piece with the scales and the shoulder parts. And then I put it on. Oh yeah, and I made a chainmail. I rolled up the wire on a pen, cut it and hooked them together. And it will look like this after some hours and around 130 meters of wire. But Elden Ring not only made me realize how bad I am at these kinds of games, it also gave me a twitch emote that I can spam when I don't know what's going on. Paul. But what does Iron Fist Alexander have that my armor set is still missing? Right, leg armor. But don't worry, that's what I'm gonna do now. For me this part was the hardest one, because I had to redo or add a lot of material as you can see here. But somehow I got the shape and I also put on a zipper. Did I already mention that I had to add additional material? Well, I ripped off the paint again to glue on additional shapes. What a surprise. Now I need some parts for the greaves, that are made kind of square shaped and I also started to put on silver highlights. At this point I worked on the armor set for around 80 hours, which is more than I actually played the game. So I wanted to at least beat the game. Yes, I watched Desmond Gold play Elden Ring. How could you tell? Unless you are just chatting streamers who sometimes play some League or Velo, you probably played the game and know what's about to happen. But if not and or don't want to get spoiled, go to the timestamp that's shown on screen. He's actually that bad. It's been a long time, okay? I forgot how to lock the camera.
I can't dodge. Oh, really? Let's go. An age of fracture. I'm totally gonna wait 20 minutes. Nice. Because I had two different shades of gold, I went over all the parts that weren't painted with the gold pen. Then I made a sketch for the cape, painted it and so on some rings, so that I can attach it to the shoulder parts. I made shoe covers and glued on all the details. For the gloves I bought these black ones, cut out the shapes and put it all on. Oh, and I found out why I'm too bad at the game. I use mouse and keyboard. Even Esmongold said that the game sometimes doesn't react even though you press the button. And that must be the reason why we both died so often, right? The final things that I optimized were connecting some parts. So finally the time came to put it on. So I was ready to go outside, or so I thought. After walking 5 minutes in the armor, some parts came loose. Basically the armor got wrecked, just like Alex. Sorry Alex. Especially the parts that I connected with Velcro, because I didn't make it sturdy enough, just like the helmet. And on top of that, I can't even use a camera properly, so all the photos turned out like this. The only photos that turned out decent were these two. After repairing and reinforcing, I added up all the hours that I worked on this armor set over the past 39 depth, I, days, and I exactly hit 187. But I decided to not walk around in this armor again. After all, I have what I wanted. A pot friend pose in an Elden Ring armor. But I learned a lot by working on this project, especially because this was my first cosplay. Technically my second because I did Bell Cronel as my foam test and he barely wears armor just like the other characters in that anime. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you and have a great rest of the day.